Welcome along to Friday. Friday, as you should know by now, is all about giving you your strategy guides ready for you to compete at the weekend, getting you through opening round and hopefully a decent position for the final round. If you are a champions player, contender, challenger or junior, we have got some strategies and every possible boost associated with that track or driver that you can go ahead and use. So really, you're in the one-stop place, the best place for your strategies to follow. All the strategies are based off our own running, so our own players running the strategies in the series to give you the very best chance as well. So you should know by now because you've done the qualifying and you'll see my free to play qualifying here as well. It is the RB team series event and that includes Yuki Tsunoda and Danny Rick. So if you've worked hard in the week, leveled up, you might have them to use at the weekend. What are the tracks though coming for this weekend? We start off with Monaco. We head to Austria, which we have already had, which is the same for Hungary. We've got Monza, all we've had in qualifying. You should be pretty used to that one. We have got Montreal for race five, that returns. We've got Zandvoort for race six, the same as qualifying. And then in race seven and race eight, we have got Baku and Sao Paulo to round off the weekend's racing. We are expecting the fastest lap track to come from track number two, that is Austria. And you're going to need a fastest lap attack in opening round and final round. So make sure to go ahead and give that your very best shot. Because there's a lot of groups out there that are scoring very, very high at the moment. So you need to stand out from the rest to gain that P1 possibility. So we're going to jump into the strategy guide. Make sure to hit that like button if you really do enjoy these strategy guides. I want to see how many of you enjoy the content that we deliver to you. And let's head over to that strategy guide section. So here we are, as if by magic. Strategy area coming at you for the eight tracks of this opening round and final round. So first up. We have Monaco, the circuit of Monaco coming at us for race number one. And it's important to recognise the track stats. So the track stats this time round for Monaco, which you should know if you don't already. We are heading off to a defending driver stat and a cornering car setup requirement. That is how you get the boast out most out of your car and driver. The strategies that are in play, we have got from the well, champions and contender, four soft, four medium and a five medium, three soft. For challenger and junior, it's a four medium, four medium that we prefer on both. Of course, you need to create a gap between the two drivers. They are the what I like to call the better strategies around Monaco. Now, on the right hand side, you can see where to push. That is at the top. Blue for conserve, medium for medium, of course, and red for attacking that faster engine mode. Now at the bottom, you've also got the boosts that are available for use, which do also include the two main stats, defending and cornering. So the best boost round here recommended is Prince because it gives you a race start of 20. So almost guaranteeing you a perfect race start as well. But some of the other best boosts around here are Hook and Movember, which give you a total points for the two stats of an additional 40 across your car setup and driver. But Prince, as we have starred, a very, very good because it's got race start and it's got some good cornering in there as well. So that is Monaco, the streets of Monaco, and we're going to head off to Spielberg and Austria for track number two, your fastest lap circuit. So again, we stick with defending on the driver. So defending drivers, the highest you can get, and we go with a setup which is speed. Important to make sure you change your setup between races because they will have a significant impact on how you score. So... What strategy are we going to follow? Champions and Contender is going to see us run a 4 soft, 4 soft, 2 soft and a 5 medium, 5 medium. Out there in Challenger and Junior, it's all about the 2 stop for me. We've got the 4 medium, 3 soft, 3 soft and the reverse, 3 soft, 3 soft, 4 medium. Now the very best boost you can see down the bottom starred as well is Rainbow, giving you a total of 45 points on the stats 
and it also includes a five race start as a little bit of a bonus. Now, other boosts that you can use, Voice, Tulip, Warrior, one of the free boosts are also really good. They're all the boosts that include both of the track stats. On the top right then, you can see the track map. There's three places to conserve your power unit at the Red Bull Ring, and you've got some good places to overtake through the corners as well. So very important, that one. Obviously, before the fastest lap, you have to get 47 points, but it is going to be the circuit that will give you that tiebreaker fastest lap time if required. So moving on then to the Hungara Ring. Race number three, we've had this in qualifying. You should be used to it. Again, it's in the wet. 100% chance of rain here at the Hungara Ring. So we don't need to go through the champ. Well, we don't need to go through the dry strategies. But again, defending drivers and cornering this time. So it goes cornering speed, cornering for the first three races. Change that setup. In the wet, champions contender. Four wet, four wet is what we're going for. Now, from the back, challenger and junior. If you've got around 50 tire management you can manage to do four wets. That's going to be a benefit to you. But you might want to take a tyre management boost to help you. If not, we're going to be doing the two-stop. The two, three, three, and the three, three, two. And we've got the boosts down below available. Hook and Prince both starred because obviously Hook gives you the race start and so does Prince. Movember has a tyre management. So if you don't need the race start, Movember is very good. It gives you an additional 10 on the tyre management. Could be the difference of doing a two-stop compared to that one-stop if you're taking or not taking that boost. Top right, track map, just two places to conserve, really. Everything else is pretty much pushing with only a few places to medium push as well. So really good chance to score points. Race start crucial, though. It's a very difficult corner sometimes at this circuit. It's important to get a good race start at Hungary. On to race number four. We're going Italian for this one. It is Monza, and it is 0% rain, as we know. We've had this in qualifying. It's track stat of defending yet again. So defending driver. And it's going to be a speed setup. So Hutch really mixing up cornering speed, cornering speed. So you've got to make sure you're changing your setup. And this one being in the dry. Champions and contender. Four soft, four soft. A good tyre management boost like Eagle really helps you do that strategy. And a four medium, four medium. From the back, if you don't want to double stop, one stop is good. Four hard, four hard. But if not, two soft, three medium, three medium. If you can get four medium, four medium with around 50 tyre management, great. But if not, you might need to use the hards. At the boosts at the bottom, you've got Rainbow, Tulip, Voice and Warrior. And you can see they all do include defending and speed. Obviously, Eagle, like I mentioned, doesn't. It only has speed, but it does have that important tyre management in it as well. Now, the top right, you can see the track map. Three places to conserve again, one really for medium pushing, and then the rest of it is going to be full attack into the corners. So tricky track sometimes, race start can be crucial here as well. So race four we've already covered, and this time we're off to Canada for race number five. Now Canada is in the dry, so this is what your strategies look like. We have got overtaking, so the first time we really see a driver stat changing and it is at the Gilles Villeneuve circuit. We have got overtaking, so you want to change your drivers for this one. And then the car stat, if I get it right, is on to cornering. So we, we are right mixing them up. Hutch are playing, playing dangerous with us. Four medium, four medium, champions and contenders. There is a chance you could run a free soft, free soft, two soft, but we're going to stick with the four mediums for now. And from the challenger and junior, we've got the four hard, four hard. Don't see really the point of undercutting, but doing a long second stop because challenger and junior, your pit time is going to be a lot higher anyway. The boosts that are available, you've got copper, you've got glitz in there as well. Herald is also good, cranberry and ode. So yeah, maybe copper, probably going to be your best round Villeneuve, Gilles Villeneuve, Montreal, because it does give you that 30 points. And a race start of 20. Top right, two big straights to conserve. Start, finish straight and the back straight is where you want to be gaining that power unit. Because it's crucial for you overtaking. Race 6, cornering 
for your car overtaking for your drivers no real need to change it this time around cornering and overtaking and this is your stats remember fully wet here so same as qualifying four wet four wet champions and contender we've got the free free two and the two free free in challenger and junior but if you can get up to that 50 tire management you can potentially run a four wet four wet or take a tire boost that will help you gain that one stop really really tricky to do but can be done in challenger definitely junior you're going down to the two stop i'm afraid best boosts around this circuit copper is well up there race start as well remember you've got glitz herald cranberry and ode all have that both track stats included for the boost Two circuits to go. Race 7 is Baku. We've got overtaking again for our drivers. But this time we move on to a speed circuit. Change that setup. Champions of Contender is going to be a one-stop, free soft, four medium, and a four medium, free soft. Challenger, Junior. Little bit of a difference. Free medium, two soft, two soft. And a four hard, free medium. The boosts, well, you can quite clearly see there is a lot of boosts available, but the best ones that we recommend are Firework and Street Shark. It's going to give you some crucial race start boost off the line. And remember, the race start lasts for the whole of the first lap. So you need to make, if you are going to use them boosts, make it work. Take the overtaking. And as you can see, conserve down that back straight. The track map shows it all. You really need to conserve down the back straight because it is so good for gaining, I don't know, 15% power unit, 20% power unit potentially. So good. You've got to be conserving down there to give yourself the best chance to attack. And then finally, we are moving off to the final circuit and it comes from Brazil. It's in the dry so we only need to go through them ones overtaking and its first appearance this weekend for a power unit circuit because all the rest are cornering and speed. So you want to change for race number eight. Power unit is crucial and you can see the strategies. A free soft, free soft, free soft and a five medium, four medium with champions and contender. Challenger and junior, it's the same. Free soft, free soft, free soft but we've got the four medium, five hard or you can run the five hard, four medium whichever way you want to go. Glitz, unstoppable, rooster, all the favoured boosts around this circuit. And remember, Rooster has some race start in it as well. Top right, up the hill, you want to be conserving to gain some of that power unit. But Brazil, you've pretty much got everywhere, has a chance of overtaking. So that is your strategy guide, nice and easy. So hopefully you're going to go and smash it with them strategy guides. We obviously invest the time and the effort to put these together. If you've made it through to the end of this video, you're going to hear about all the tips and secrets instead of those who come along to just take a picture of them because obviously we explain a lot better what you can follow. Good luck in your racing this weekend from the RB Team Series event. Hopefully you're going to go and smash it. It's all about getting through to Friday. Use your boosts on Saturday. Make sure to get through. Get some rewards on Monday, having got through to Sunday. Good luck. Hit the like, subscribe, comment. Let's go. We'll see you for weekend racing soon enough.